Welcome back to New York Links. Barbadians in New York welcomed the newly elected Prime Minister, Honorable David Thompson. The Friends of Barbados and other Barbadian organizations opened their doors and their hearts to welcome their newly elected Prime Minister. David Thompson of the Democratic Labour Party, who won a landslide victory on January 16th, beating Arthur Owen, who had been Prime Minister for four terms. New York Lynx was at a reception. Richer Rich has the story. David Thompson to New York City. Is this the first trip after winning the um, election in Barbados? Actually, it's my first trip out of Barbados since winning the election. And um, I thought it important that I come up here because we have a very strong branch and every year they do such great work for us. And was this campaigning any different than the last um, campaigning? This was a lot different. I think it was much more organized. I think we had a good group of candidates. I think we were better prepared for it. So I would say in every sense of the word, I think we were more focused and the issues that we chose were the ones that were most relevant okay. to Barbadians. Now, everyone is talking about change. Change is going on all around the world. Even in, um, in the US of A, there, there might actually, there will be a change coming up very shortly. Now, Barbados underwent a, a big change from BLP to DLP. How are you, or, or what, what type of impact is this going to make in Barbados now? Well, the core of our policies focuses on issues that the previous government basically did not focus on. The cost of living, the need to deal with affordable housing and land, yes. issues in relation to health. And therefore, I think that to that extent, the change will make a difference in the lives of Barbadians. For some reason, I hear a lot that the cost of land is going up tremendously. It is, there's definitely an increase in the cost of land. How are you or how will you be attempting to make that somewhat affordable to Barbadians who, who, who to Barbadians and to Barbadians in general, I should say? Well, we have a number of ways. One is which uh, government needs to make more of its land available for sale to Barbadians at affordable prices. We are going to subsidize some purchases. We are going to remove the VAT in relation to the cost of some building materials. And we are going to make interest-free mortgages available to first-time homeowners in the public sector. So there are a range of policies that combined will have that effect. Wonderful. <laughs> now, I often hear about the attention of the QEH, Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Barbados. Um, the attention that it needs, it needs to be improved, needs to be upgraded, and um, so many changes need to be made. What attempts are you going to be uh, um, making with the QEH? We have a rescue the QEH plan, which is part of the manifesto, and which focuses on the most important things that need to be done to deal with the QEH, so that we have a very dynamic Minister of Health, he has a good team, we've just appointed a new board there, and we are confident that they know what to do. Nice, wonderful, sounds very good. And I don't want to take up a lot of your time, but just um, a couple more things. One is the transportation problem, and I should say it's a problem, but the transportation issue in Barbados in regards to the area of which they call country, maybe certain parts of St. Andrews, St. Peter, and so forth. Are you looking into making any changes there as well as far as making transportation um, more readily available? Well, it's a combination of things. There's also traffic congestion, the road network, particularly in rural Barbados, as well as public transportation. So we believe that you have to address these things in a holistic way. And in addition to the provision of public transport through the transport board, we also want to see a vibrant ground transportation system provided by the private sector. Nice. 